Hello, my name is RDN. We are going to solve practice problem 11.1 from study book. Calculate the instantaneous power and average power, so two types of power, by the passive linear network with VT and IT defined like that. Okay. Now, we know that instantaneous power, so instantaneous power. instantaneous okay. is defined as pt is equal to vt multiplied by it so we can just multiply this and that so what do we get from that so you have 330 cosine of 10t plus 20 degrees and then multiplied by 33 sine 10t plus 60 degrees okay now 330 multiplied by 33 that will be 108910 okay 108910 108890 and i will have cosine of 10t plus 20 degrees and then sine of 20 plus 60 degrees. Now we want to use this trigonometric identity here to split this into some into the difference of sine. Okay, now maybe let's just do that. So we'll have 10,890 and then multiply it by one half and then i will have sine now we sum up all of this that will be 20t plus 80 degrees okay and then the difference between them so i will have minus sine this one minus this one so 20 and 20 will cancel each other and then 20 minus 60 degrees that will be what is it minus 40 degrees right okay now let's do some math here first i will have that one divided by two that will be 505445 five, five. mm -hmm. and then multiplied by sine of 20t plus 80 degrees and then this minus and minus remember that sine of negative x is equal to sine x so the sine will be cancelled each other so i will have plus and sine 40 degrees okay now maybe let's distribute this 5000 here and there right so that should be five four four five sine of 20t plus 80 degrees and then plus 5445 five, multiplied by sine of 40 degrees now let's calculate this one because this is just a constant 5445 five, sine 40 and we already has it in degrees right 
So I will have three, four, yeah, three hundred, three thousand and five hundred. Okay. So this should be around. Three thousand and five hundred, and here I will have five, four, five, nine, twenty t plus eighty degrees, and this is in what? Maybe I will convert this into kilowatt. So I will have three point five. And then plus five four point four four five sine uh twenty t plus eighty t. I think we are done here. But why is it different from the answer? Yeah, because we express this as sine function, but the answer key express it as cosine function. We can change this. So I will have three point five plus five point four four five. Remember that sine x is equal to cosine ninety degrees minus x. So I will have cosine of ninety degrees minus two t. I mean twenty t. Twenty t and then minus eighty degrees. And the unit still kilowatt. Now let's do some simplification. So I have three point five plus five point four four five four four five. And then cosine that will be minus twenty t plus ten degrees. And this is kilowatt. Now let's take out the negative sign. So I will have here and here, but this will be minus, right? Remember that cosine minus x is equal to cosine x, so I will have three point five plus five point four four five cosine of twenty t minus ten degrees, and the unit will be kilo. And this is the instantaneous power. Okay, this is for the first answer, and now we need to find out the average power. You can calculate it by many ways, but I think I will have the. I think I will use the one that we can use from the average power. So the average power is just the constant part of the instantaneous power. So I will have this three point five here as our average power. So I will have P capital P is equal to three point five kilo. And I think I'm done here and hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video. Bye bye.